A couple other points I forgot to make that I want to talk about. First of all, this is a steel frame covered in ABS plastic. And one reason I went with ABS, well, was to save some weight and other reasons. The big one was, was um, if this was all done in sheet metal, it would have a hard time picking up the radio signal from the briefcases because there's a receiver in here. So it's plastic, so it doesn't shield it. Also, the front is wide open. That should help with it, too. Another reason why the front is so much open, well, you have to leave room for the gun to angle. But more importantly, you have to have room to get in there to change the barrels. In the bottom, there's drain holes. So if water gets in there, it'll drain out. It won't sit in there. Hang on a second. I'm going to open it back again. All the electrical system is in water, watertight, rated for wet locations. So you don't need to worry about any water that gets in here. Now, on this first box is labeled wireless receiver. And then in real fine print it says, do not plug in white cord without receiver module. And what that means is, is, if you ever wanted to disable this, or whatever, for whatever reason you took this apart, this is the receiver. So if you took this out, if you plug this cord straight into one of those receptacles, it'll just hold the gun, the valves wide open, and it'll never build pressure. So if you're not going to use this receiver, then just leave the cord out. Now over in this box is labeled water fill transformer. It's a low voltage transformer that operates the sprinkler valve that fills it. And I did it in this, this way so if the transformer ever went bad all you have to do is unplug it and put in a new one. But it should last a long time. The overall construction of this is it's all on a steel frame. The whole valve assembly, everything I made that, it's all made out of stainless. 304 stainless. It's a coaxial piston valve and it dumps the air out of the tank extremely fast. Inside is an aluminum piston on O-rings. And when the air tank is pressurized, it pushes on one side of the piston up in this part. Also, at the back of the gun, it's pressurized and it pressurizes the back side of the piston in here. But because the piston has a surface area or has a is 6 inches in diameter on the back and it's only 4 inches in diameter on the front, so there's less surface area here. So the pressure in the back can hold the piston forward and overcome the tank pushing on it. When the gun is fired, these electri electrical solenoid valve, it dumps the air, and it dumps all the air pressure out of the back of this. At that point, the air in the tank pushes the nose of the piston back, and there i got a bumper in here, and it slams it back. That then creates the passage from the tank to go into the barrel and push the water out. And there's a flange in there where a rubber disc on the nose of the piston seals against to hold the water back. So if this thing has no air pressure going to it, it's not going to hold the water back. That's why everything should be hooked up before you start it. The fill valve down in there, it fills up this elbow at the bottom of the barrel. I mean, all this fills up with water. That probably holds a couple more gallons. On the fill valve, I installed a spring-loaded check valve. So when the gun goes off, the pressure from the gun does not blow off the hose 
or blow out the sprinkler valve so that holds it back. All right, a little bit more on the pilot system that uh, fires it. I bought these solenoids and they were they would not release the air pressure out of the back of the gun fast enough. It leaked down for five to ten seconds before the gun would activate. It had a real long delay. So I had to make it dump faster. So now this has got three stages. This solenoid pilots or triggers a coaxial diaphragm valve. It works on a pressure differential just like the big valve. But instead of a piston, this has a diaphragm. So this triggers that and it dumps, uh, blows it out a one inch port. And it's fast enough to almost immediately fire the gun. This is all done electrically, the triggering. 